Hi, I'm Mike Ridley and welcome to Powerboat Television. This week on the show, we're going to take you trailer boating in the Land of Lakes and our first stop is here in Napanee, Ontario. It's early in the morning, the fog is just lifting, so we're getting ready to hit the river and go out and explore. So stay with us. Itching to get underway, we quickly rigged a new hurricane that we had picked up from Bay Marine in Trenton and had it launched and ready to go. Joining us for the cruise was Robert Paul, a local boater quite familiar with the area. While no speed limit is posted, we kept it slow to enjoy the sights and sounds and the smell of the river. We're just leaving Napanee and it's, it's a nice quiet river. Um, is it like this all the way down towards the lake? It's... Yes, it, it's calm like this right to the, uh, to the mouth of the river. Yeah. So it's all just very low narrow, lands, very, very narrow, narrow and yeah. trees. And... Yeah. While the river is fairly consistent with adequate depths, you will find some markers at various locations to keep you out of trouble. Cruising down the river, you'll also pass a wide range of homes and cottages. And of course, fishing is an extremely popular activity on the Napanee River. We were also fortunate enough to grab some video and still shots of these swans enjoying the protection of the marshy shoreline. With plans to head onto the waters of the Bay of Quinte, it was time to pick up the pace and enjoy a good run in the hurricane. In short order, we had left the river behind and were running down Longreach, a stretch of water that once heard the thunder of the Gold Cup hydroplanes. Soon we were just off the light on Sherman's Point and turning to port to head into Hay Bay. As the bay opened up before us, it was evident what activity was popular here, fishing. I see there's an island. Yeah, it's called Ram Island. And if you, yeah. you stay to the left and go right around it, there's always, generally there's boats that dock in behind it. It's quite a nice Oh, spot. it's a popular oh, yeah. day yeah. destination. Yeah. It's pretty in here, it's just, you can tell it's all farmland. And... Yeah, this is the old Pickle Park where a lot of the Pickle fishing always originated out and still does. It's kind of a campground where people put their trailers and that kind of thing. It's called Pickle Park. It's been there forever and ever and ever. Slowing past the resort, we saw quite a few boats out working the waters for bass and pickerel, the number one fish in these waters. We were also fortunate enough to see some more swans that are making a comeback here. Passing around the island, we caught a sailboat at anchor, enjoying the peace and quiet. After poking around the bay, we reluctantly turned back to the Napanee River for the run back to our launching point. This recently revitalized waterfront is an ideal stopover for transient boaters with berths along the wall at Conservation Park. With time left in the day, Lisa and I decided to hit the Springside Park Trail and explore upriver to the site of the grist mill that started the settlement of Napanee. That was a great cruise out the Napanee River, all the way out to Hay Bay. It's a great area you can explore on a calm river, and if it's good weather, you can head out there to the open water of the Bay of Quinney. But now we're gonna go somewhere else within the Land of Lakes. We're gonna head inland towards all of the 5,000 lakes from the big one here, and we're heading for Lowborough Lake. But that's later in the show. Wrapping up the day, Lisa and I settled in on the waterfront Puffin Terrace's patio to relax enjoy a meal, and the view of the riverfront park and the live entertainment. We've arrived here at Lowborough Lake at the marina where we're gonna launch the boat. Ramp's a little bit tight, but we will get it in the water. This is also where Lowborough Inn is, a very popular spot for vacationers that like to trailer their boats in, explore the lake, do some fishing, as well as a jumping off point for folks that have cottages here on the lake. So we're gonna get this in the water and go exploring. Longborough Marine and Lodge offers boaters covered slips, fuel, mechanical services, and of course accommodations and dining if you are planning a few days in the area. Fueled and with Harvey Webster on board, we are off for a quick tour of the lake. So this is Battersea Bay? Yep, it's just one small section of the lake. Uh, this bay is a fish sanctuary until bass season opens, mm -hmm. and then it becomes fair game. 
but basically it, all the water you can see right now is part of it, Powder Sea Bay. How big is the lake? Just uh, it's about 30 kilometers long. That's that's a good so size. So it's, it's, we're in the East Basin, which is the shallower basin. A lot of it's only 10 or 15 feet deep. You're in about seven or eight, maybe max 10 feet of water right now. From Battersea Bay, Harvey guided us through the islands, enjoying the scenery and tranquility. While the lake has cottages that date back to the 20s, it's a relatively quiet body of water compared to many cottage country lakes. Cruising along on plane, it was just a great day to be on the water. It felt like we had the western arm of the lake to ourselves. The lake is 25 kilometers long, with over 160 kilometers of shoreline to explore. Working our way southwest, the lake narrows and the landscape is gentler. At its narrowest, we passed under Division Street, leading up from Kingston, and adjacent to the bridge is a popular ramp. After passing through the narrows, we then moved out to the deepest part of the lake. It's like you've trailered into a completely different lake now. That's right. And you know, that's a lot of people like to launch at the uh, at division there, and then they can take their pick. Though a bit choppy, we did enjoy a spirited run to Cranston Beach at the end of the lake and back. This change in landscape provides for some sand bottoms in the shallows that are popular with the lake's boaters for spending a fun day in the warm water. With one more lake to explore, it was time for a sprint back through the islands to Lowboro Marina. That wraps up our cruise of Lowboro Lake. Harvey Webster from Lowboro Inn and Marina has been a great tour guide, so now we're off to our next Land of Lakes destination. Hi, got something. It's another glorious sunny day here in the Land of Lakes, and we're out to explore another one of the 5,000 lakes in this region, and of course, this is Beaver Lake. And along with us is our tour guide for the day, Mark Oliver. Mark, welcome aboard. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Looking forward to a great day on the water. Any day on the water is a great day on the water. Beaver Lake is a medium-sized lake covering just over 1,300 acres or 5.3 square kilometers. On your side of the boat would be one of the oldest uh, developed parts of the lake. Uh, those were uh, all on private roads. They were open sort of around the end of World War II. Uh, and now there's a process, I think, of gentrification taking place as those reach the limit of their useful lives and get taken down and start getting replaced. The lake is shaped like a horseshoe. The deepest spot we found over on this side is about 35 feet. And the other side, we've uh, found some places that are about 55 feet. On the shore along here is uh, the only campground on the lake and it has been a family owned campground for a, about 55 years. Uh, the family farmhouse is in the background and the children all have house, houses uh, on the adjoining property. After enjoying the sunshine and the quiet on this arm of the lake, we headed back to where we had launched earlier to catch the action that influenced our choice of this July weekend to be in the Land of Lakes. We've had a great time in the Land of Lakes exploring just a few of the places you can go boating among the 5,000 lakes in this region. A special thanks to the folks that hosted us on their waters and in their communities. And if you're lucky enough to be in the Land of Lakes in July, make sure you head to the Beaver Lake Boat Races where we're gonna wrap up our shoot today. <laughs>